Hello everyone. In this particular lecture, I am going to explain the concept of seeds in DBT. So basically, seeds are CSV files located in C directory. So this is my C directory in DBT cloud. These CSV files are created here inside this folder. DBT seed command loads the CSV file in the data warehouse. So once the the CSV files are created. Now you want to load these files in your data warehouse or into database. So what you are going to do, you are going to use the dbt seed command to load these files in the data warehouse. Seed can be referred like models using the ref function. So you can use the ref function to to refer these uh, CSV files in a model. Dbt seed is best for static data which. Uh, changes infrequently let me just give you an example so this is the data set that i'm going to use country and the country code country code is never going to change it will remain static for for each country likewise region and the postal code uh, they they're not, they're not going to change they will remain constant so this uh, seed is best for static data that never changes seed properties can be declared in yaml file so you can create a yaml file here and you can declare the properties of seeds as well so now what i will do i will create a csv file we will create a single file and i will name it country dial code dot csv create this file and let me just copy paste this data copy and paste here let me just open this file and paste here save a csv file has been created commit and sync now simply now i want to load the csv file in my dbt underscore db database so what i will do i will execute this command dbt seed and then i will press enter country dial code look success let me just check the tables look a new table has been created and the name of my table is going to be country dial code dot csv country dial code this is going to be my table name and it is going to be in my dbt underscore sqrc schema let me just query this from country dial code and execute look country and their respective country code now next example i will give i will create another file i will create two files one file i will create in a separate folder i will create a folder and i will name this folder as dial code and i will create a csv file here inside my dial code folder and i will name this file as country code 2 2 dot csv copy the country and the country code paste here and save this file save this file as well okay 
now i'm going to create a yaml file as i have already told you that seed properties can be declared in a yaml file i will create a yaml file here uh, inside the seed folder let me just create a file and i will name this file as a country code dot yml yml and let me just copy paste this so this is going to be the name of my first sheet let me just name this this one country code country dial code rename let me just configuration block column types country and the country code this is going to be the varchar data type and the second column is going to be the number data type then it is the C so first i was in seed folder uh, then I'm going to go in my second folder which is going to be a dial code so this is going to be a dial code folder and this is going to be the name of my CSV file and these are the column uh, data types of this file Save this, commit and sync, commit changes, drop table, So now two tables will be created with name country dial code and country dial code 2. Two tables will be created. Now let me just execute uh, the command dbt seed and execute. Look country dial code and uh, country dial code 2 refresh look two tables have been created the first table and this is going to be my second table this one look this is going to be my second table which has been loaded successfully so now i want i want to refer these sv files in a model so let me just create a sql file as a model and let me just name this file as code.sql file create a file with code as select star from use the ref function to refer a csv file basically a seed i'm going to refer this country dial code let me just refer one select star from code save this look a new node has been added this node represents a seed this is a seed node okay 
now i'm going to preview this compile let me just compile first preview let me just preview this and then i'm going to compile this code now i want to compile this look dbt underscore db dot this is the schema name and this is the uh, csv file the seed file which i am referring to okay now if you want to execute just execute dbt run so what will happen a table will be created with name code just execute dbt run look the code with dbt run all models will be executed refresh look code a view will be created okay because i haven't provided the configuration block in which i have mentioned the table by default it will be treated as a view so if you want table to be created i have to uh, mention either in a yaml file or i have to provide a, a configuration block where i'm going to explicitly mention that it is a table 